Strange, someone's been digging in the earth next to this tree. It's strange to see such a fragile little tree in the middle of this gloomy, imposing forest. A sinister idol frozen in an unnatural pose. Although it does blend in perfectly with the creepy surroundings. Sorry, little tree, but I need your fruit. So dark. There's an old lantern hanging above the table. There's a diary. Looks like the owner wrote in it regularly. speak again. Who are you? I am but a part of the great sycamore tree, transformed by my creator into a form in its image. Life dwells within trees, rocks, and every blade of grass, but we are usually not in a form that allows us to converse with humans. Here I am again. Among your kind, so my journey is not yet at an end. Your creator, is this his house? No, he departed this world long ago. Another cabinet maker lived here. He disappeared around a year ago by my reckoning. Though I may have lost track of time while I was standing here. That's sad. Boy, I can see you're lost. Help me, and I will lead you out of the deep woods. Sprinkle that water on me, so that I may walk again. Where can I find it? 
The owner feared to keep it in the house, so he stored it in the earth next to a fragile little tree. It would have been foolish to expect a chest full of treasure, but a skeleton? Thank you, boy. I suppose you know too much now. To avoid any problems in the future, I will have to kill you. <sighs> Thank you, boy. I suppose you know too much now. To avoid any problems in the future, I will have to kill you. <sighs> wow, a whole wooden troop. Um, hello? It should work. That is, of course, as long as the diary wasn't just the mad scribblings of a crazy person. I am ready to serve a new master. to serve a new master. to serve a new master. served well. Rest in peace now.
I'm starving. Decent folk must live here. I'm sure they won't mind if I ask for some bread. I could do with the energy. I heard a noise at the window. Is somebody knocking to come in? Hello, Granny. I've been wandering in the forest all day and I'm exhausted. Could I trouble you for a small piece of bread? Come in, boy. Eat, rest. I won't do you any harm. Come in. I have delicious pies. Eat up. What's going on? Isn't it obvious? We're sending ourselves while we wait for lunch. Right. And we are lunch. What do you mean? I mean what I said. There'll be soup, casserole, and pies. Not made from pork, but from children. They're on a diet right now. Clearly. Jens really was seriously ill. What are you talking about? There was another boy with us, Jens. All plump and rosy-cheeked. They noticed his right meaty flanks right away. The very first night, he was put on a spit and roasted. But they didn't know that Jens had been sick. They were suffering for days afterward. Then we see the old woman carrying squirrels out of the forest. They must be having squirrel soup to settle their stomachs. But as soon as they feel better, They'll kill us and cook us in a stew. Hold on. I'm not going to abandon you. You're good. You only just got here and you're already free. The keys to the cages must be somewhere in the house. The witch never lets them out of her sight. She always wears them on her belt. It's no use. Save yourself. Forget about us. Not a chance. I'll think of a way to save you. Just standing here and breathing in the stench is unbearable. If I go inside, the stink might kill me. Cupboard containing pickled foods. Hearts. Kidneys. Looks like the squirrel soup I heard about. K. 
curses. None of the keys work. Save yourself. Forget about us. Hold on a little longer. I'm going to look for different keys. Strange. There's a pile of old papers in here. I think that's enough leaves. I need to grind them down and see what I get. The powder has a slight glow and smells faintly of almonds. Could it be? Have I actually made a poison? won't be eating anyone ever again, you beast. Curses. None of the keys work. Save yourself. Forget about us. Hold on a little longer. I'm going to look for different keys.
Run home. This cursed family is at an end. Thank you, boy, but we have no home. We can stay here, chop down all the thorny weeds, fix up the house and live happily. Not a bad idea. Fix the place up a little inside and enjoy life. It's got everything you need. But it's time for me to press on. Farewell. Safe travels. Take care. Little princess, I found you. I have blood on my hands. Again. Did I have a chance to save you? Ellie is in danger. If the girls are hunting in the forest, they could easily become the prey. I need to hurry. Thank you, boy. I didn't mean to... This is crazy. What matters is that we're alive. This isn't the first time I've been hunted. Our forest is governed by the law of the jungle. It's either you or me. They won't catch Yanni Anuers again. What do you think? Should I lay some trap? I think they'll stay clear of this place if you do. Strange boats, and there are no oars. I need to get across the river. Is that your boat on the bank? The boat? No, no, that belongs to the river. How am I supposed to get across to the other side? There are no oars for rowing. 
The boat, just like the river itself, is enchanted. If you want it to take you across, you need to bring it a gift. I'm delighted to welcome a traveler to my humble abode. I'll bet you are weary from traveling and wish to rest. Yes, please, follow me. Thank you. You're very kind, but I'm in a big hurry. Forgive my curiosity, but may I ask where you're rushing to? I need to find a cave and find my little sister. An evil spirit has possessed her mind. Hmm, I suppose you're seeking the cave located on that bloodstained island that lies next to ours. You know where it is? Please, show me the way. Only a desperate person seeking death would venture there. The road there is long. The placid river soon becomes a channel of sewage teeming with evil spirits. I will be glad to help you. But I think you will only be up to the task of such a journey after a good night's sleep. Rest now, young man, and after we will equip you with everything you need and send you off in our best boat. People sail to our island so rarely, but we need company in the same way you need air to breathe. Please do us a kindness. Spend a few hours with us. I think I really need to rest for a few hours. Thank you. Please follow me upstairs. I will take you to the best room. Make yourself at home. I will go and see that the boat is made ready. Thank you again. I'll just rest for a short while and then I'll be on my way. As you wish. Rest now, young man. Sleep well.
It won't budge.
to annoy me. Off you go to bed! Yeah. <laughs> 